Thank you very much. Ahmed Fathi, uh, I'm a foreign affairs correspondent at the United Nations for various uh, Arabic news media. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, you said it very eloquently at the start of this meeting that today's problem is not between uh, Muslim, Christians, and Jews, but rather between uh, moderates and extremists. Uh, if I may ask, who, ask you, what is your vision and your strategy, if uh, existing, uh, how to treat with this uh, current dilemma, moderates and extremists, within inside the Islamic face itself, and how it can be a transferable, such containment to other parts of the Muslim world? Thank you very much. Uh, well, the, uh, if you talk about the Muslim faith, you, you, I mean, it's intertwined with you know what's happening in certain countries, like uh, in Egypt, for example. Uh, you know, the situation there saddens us actually uh, to see the um, internal conflict uh, in Egypt and, and particularly in Syria, and you know, they're tearing up tearing apart the whole country with so many people killed and so forth. Um, uh, but uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to identify you know, moderates from both sides and be able to sit down and, and, and try to negotiate a, a political settlement. Uh, it's uh, complex. I'm not underestimating uh, the challenges and uh, they are interests within the region and beyond the region as to what's happening uh, in uh, those countries, which complicates the situation. But if you talk in terms of a political settlement, the only way that you can get a political set settlement if you, if you find the moderates from both sides and, and take a realistic view as to uh, finding a political solution, uh, which will be I think the only way to find resolution to the problem. And the secondly is the uh, underpinning. Underpinning is the, the Sunni Shia uh, sectarian problem, which is very serious. Uh, you know, I, um, I like to use this analogy that if you are a Shia, if you are a Sunni, you are like along a highway, you are in a different lane but you want to get to the same destination. For as long as you don't cross over to each other's lane, then you will reach the destination safely. Uh, it's when you consider each other as your enemy, uh, that's when the real problem starts. So I think uh, it's also incumbent upon the Sunni and the Shias to realize that we want to get to the final destination, if you like, but uh, you know, don't get at each other in the process. And if that can be the attitude, uh, then I think a large uh, chunk of the problem in the Middle East will go away. We started on moderation, we end on moderation. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you very much.